Hey everybody, I am Mr. Sebalonian, and this is Zentrilla. Let's go. And uh, yes, what is this you ask? Well, it is a Windcraft copy, of course, obviously. No, it is not a Windcraft copy, as many have said. It is a Minecraft MMO, and <clears throat> it's gonna look a little bit like Win or Dungeon Realms or whatever shit that Minecraft comes up with in MMO ways. It is gonna be a little bit like that, <clears throat> but um, don't go saying it's Windcraft copy because I have played this uh, already now. I failed, by the way. I recorded a video and it definitely did fail. I'll, maybe I'll include a little clip of that. My voice went darker and it kind of clipped, and I don't even know. It was weird. Hey everybody, I'm Mr. Salonian, and this is Zentrella. Let's go. And Zentra is a new MMO, a Minecraft MMO. It's sort of like Windcraft, but not really. A lot of people are like, oh my god, it's a Windcraft cop, but it's not. Uh, from what I've understood, at least. So anyway, <clears throat> I don't want anyone coming to the server saying, it's a Windcraft cop, because it's, it's definitely not. So let's get into this. You made it. Well, this is real world now, so do what you want. There are plenty of quests in town, and if you don't like reading quests, does that mean you don't like me? Then you can just explore the world. So yeah. Right now, there aren't a whole lot of quests. There are... Hold on, I gotta move a little bit first. There we go. Um, there are four quests, I believe, that we can do, and we're gonna do a couple of those. But first off, we're gonna choose a class, and in my video that I recorded earlier that didn't work I chose Reaper and I'm gonna do the same now because that seems like fun by the way this is not my character this is my brother's so I hope he doesn't mind we're not gonna need the practice wand we can throw that away and we're gonna start this quest hi you're new around here aren't you yes I arrived just a little while ago and I, I'm very impressed or not impressed maybe but I like the fact that you actually talk well, welcome, we're friendly folks here in Corbin, and we're always happy to see your face. So, need any help? Any questions? I want to become an adventurer! Don't be out. Well, I suppose you could start by helping around town. Sounds good? Sure. Um, lately, there's been a cult of crazy necromancers trying to summon the dead. They work at the summoning circle just around out of town. Just outside of town. Just follow the road and look to your right. You'll see some statues. That's the summoning circle. Uh, they've been getting a bit too rowdy lately. Maybe you can go teach them a lesson Remember you can use slash LOC or locate Whatever to check your coordinates or just use the world map at exclamation mark map Why don't you go and beat up the cultist and bring back ten cultist books? Blah, 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 blah. So what I found out was really helpful is if you go to options and actually to say um, enable this and on top You'll see. No, you won't. Ah, oh, shit, you won't see it because my name is in the way. But on your screen, you'll see that it says your HP, and it will also see your coordinates. But that's uh, where this is. My my name is currently blocking that. So yeah. Uh, also, we're gonna wanna put our spells on. So the first spell we're gonna get is Drain. We're gonna put that on spell cast one, which is right, left, left, which is a nice feature. Um, and it doesn't actually use the ability unless there is a target, which is nice. So you can't like spam it and stuff. And there you see it is draining his HP and healing me at the same time. Level two has been reached. And uh, yeah, we can now go kill some cultists. We could before as well, but now we're gonna be twice as strong. Oh goddamn though. I think these guys are dangerous. Okay, okay, okay. Heal me please. I don't wanna die. This was a lot easier last time because I had I I was given OP gear by someone. Okay, so we now have a chest plate. Uh don't wanna die. You lose 16 15% of your XP when you die, by the way, in this area. It's different for each area. Um also, I don't have any potions, so I'm a little bit scared. Hope it doesn't get too close. It doesn't really show when you get hurt, which I, I'm not a big fan of. Alright, so if we back off a little bit here, I can actually put these on to 
tier one and we have a little bit more HP and you actually regen that's nice okay it's really slow but whatever we need we need 10 books so we're gonna get that and then we're gonna go back to the dude oh, we're almost level four here okay that's good um, drain more HP all right some skeleton there we go level four Oh my god. This is a lot harder than I did than when I did it with a bunch of shit gear. Alright, come on. Or a uh, good gear, I mean, what am I talking about? Alright. Come on. Come on, dude. Die. Do they regen? That's the question. Uses mana, but all I also gain mana back in a fast rapid pace can I train two targets at the same time that's a good question okay right left left and right left left am I draining from two now I am Ooh, that's good Ooh, this can get complex though you can drain from like ten targets if you have the mana of course need four okay we have eight books these guys would die there we go, eight, nine, ten, nice. We're gonna head back, don't wanna stay here too long and risk our lives for some stupid books. And mobs can attack you as you see lose 15% of your EXP on death. You lose 15% of your experience, that's really bad. Think about it, if you're like level 50 and you lose 15%, that's gonna be a whole lot of levels. All right. So we're gonna go back to the guy and like I, s I said in the in the <laughs> video that didn't get released um, you don't drain mana when you walk which is nice it's super nice I like it are those the books great job the cultists came to the summoning circle not long ago ever since the Maple King returned there's been more trouble around town the Maple King you haven't heard of him the Maple King is a legend in these lands although you might say it's more of a horror story uh, well, I guess it's because you're new around here. I'm sure you'll learn more about him. I'm sure I will too. If you're interested in he hearing more about him, go find Old Man Olsen. He is by the fountain and always have to tell a tale. Anyway, why don't you go find some more quests? I'm sure there are folks in this town who need help. When you're done here, you can follow the road behind me to Lemia. My friend Marion in Lemia will probably have things for you to do. You receive 10 shards. Here, have some shards. They're the currency in this world. Quest complete and Maple Story Chapter 1. Good luck at that. Good luck, I mean. Uh, this is another quest that I found. I don't know what... That looks like a fountain. Shall we go check it out? Oh, let's do it. Stuck. Try using the jump trinket. Alright, thanks, man. Alright. Is this the dude? Um, Hello? Uh, and no, that's not the dude. Okay, he didn't want to say very much. You certainly look like one. Thank you, man. <laughs> I definitely do look like an adventurer. A retarded adventurer, perhaps, but that doesn't matter. All right. We're going to talk to Alchemist Abe. I'm Alchemist Abe. Can I help you? Hi, I'm new in town. I want to help some people out. Well, you're in luck. I have just a job for you. Recently, there's been some strange black magic going around town. The dead buried at the Coral Ring graveyard have reanimated into dangerous zombies. So the town council has quarantined the area. However, zombies produce a thick blood that is excellent for high-level potions. Some zombies don't have much blood left in their bodies, but the blood is very valuable, so even a small amount is useful. Do you think you could head over to the Coral Ring graveyard and collect 25 zombie bloods for me? Oh, that some nice dude gave this to me. I don't need it, though. Wow, you're fast. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. We're going to go over to the graveyard anyways. You guys can see. This blood will save many lives, I promise you. Uh, anyway, here's a little something I have for you. <laughs> Thanks. You level up. You're now level 6. So you do get XP. Okay. You receive 15 shards. Quest complete. Great, Robbie. Thanks again. You've been so useful. I do have colleagues in Lemia. I'm sure they could use some help, too. And if you see these three dots, it means they have more to say. But now he didn't. So he doesn't have more to say. So there's no point in clicking him don't need the zambi blood I still want to head over there uh, perfect opportunity to th show you guys the trinket 
There is the recovery trinket, which heals you for 25% of your max HP. It has a cooldown of 30 seconds. Um, and then there's the maniac trinket. Deal your missing HP as damage from nearby enemies. And it, it takes your max HP and then does damage. Hawkeye trinket. Gain 20 critical, blah, blah, blah. All party members gain 20% damage reduction. What? So I, I guess you get more defense. Jumper trinket and run trinket. We're gonna take the jumper trinket, uh, run trinket. And as you can see, it's even just equipping it makes me faster. But if I press F, see that I go super fast. And we'll hit, we'll get to this graveyard in no time. It, it, it will run out, however. So, yep. And as you can see, it has a 40 second cooldown. Still, it is six, uh, 60 seconds, but yeah. Alright, so here we are. We can actually get some more um, spells going. Oh, I need those items. Alright, anyway. Um, I was going to do something. Yes, spell. Can spell spell. Alright, so we have the drain. And to get siphon, you need five points in drain. And we currently have five points that we can put out. Um, so we can't get Siphon. Well, maybe we can. Last time I got Blood Rush, it was meh. It did a lot of damage, but you know. We're gonna go with Siphon. Yes, let's do that. So level 5, and then we do Siphon, and then our RLR is now our uh, Siphoning Bolt. These guys have a lot more HP. Holy moly. Right, right, left, and then you shot Siphoning Bolt, and it heals me for 8 HP. <coughs> God damn it. I don't want to die. Whoa. All right. Right, left, left, and then da da da. You see, I can heal a bunch of HP now. It is a bit tricky to get used to the spells, I must admit. But. We will, eventually. So we're level 6. What do we do now? We can use the runner potion again. Trinket, I mean. Um, these are the cultists. Let's go back. I saw there was a dungeon, so... I may have time for that as well. I, I may be able to do that. Hold up. Just had to yell. I didn't listen. Doesn't matter. I am now in Corwin. I, I, I bet you guys can hear that. I'm terribly sorry. My door, my room, is just next to uh, the entrance to the house. Or apartment, rather. So, you know. It's a bit difficult like that. Okay, the Dungeon Master. Uh, the Goo Tunnels. Uh, tip, follow the slime trail to find the Slime King. Talk to Dungeon Master to leave the dungeon when you're done. Dungeon bosses can be summoned by hitting the Ender Crystal. Uh, do we dare to do this? We don't have very good things on, but... Alright, let's let's do it. Warping in 3, 2, 1. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so we can't get out of here. <clears throat> dungeon Master, so you can go back talk to him. Talk to the Dungeon Master when you're ready to leave. Follow the slime trail. Alright. Oh. Slime baby, go die, man. I don't need you. Oh, I, I hate the fact that it's jumping all the time. Oh my god. Okay. What? Come on. Come on. Die, man. 40 health. Damn. Oof. You, uh, you one fat bitch. Alright. Come here. Siphoning Bolt did quite a lot of damage. Oh, look, some potions. Minor healing. All right. There's some more potions. That can be good, I guess. Um, slime Trail. Just want to get to the boss, really. Is that what we're going to do? I'm going to use this. Boom. Go super fast. I don't know if we can take on the boss. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be fun. When I die. Holy shit. There are a lot of them here. I guess this could be a good spawning thing. There's supposed to be an ender crystal here, I think. 
Hello? Hello? Why? Why? No? Why, not? Why is there no crystal in this dungeon? Alright, let's see if a mod maybe can help. I'm not being helpful to them. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, in this dungeon. But I only think there's one. Oh wait, I forgot. People don't know who I am. Because I'm on a different account. No help will be given. Holy shit, there are a lot of them. So I guess this one goes through them all. And deals a shit ton of damage. Maybe? I have no mana <laughs> whatsoever. Ah, uh, alright. Come on. Do I have lifesteal on this? I don't know. Maybe... Yelling mother be like right <clears throat> there, there's not gonna be a crystal here we're just gonna have to kill some of these we can go back at least we got some potions did we get any gear no we did not we did not get any gear all right let's go back doesn't look like we're gonna be doing any killing run 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 holy shit the amount of detail is way less than win. I know, but guys, I want you to uh, you'll only lose items when you die in danger. Four. Okay, that's good to know. <clears throat> I know this is way less detailed than win, but this is only a couple weeks old, so I want you guys to give this some time. Uh, if you don't feel like playing this right now, then don't. But you can always come back to it, cause I. Um, oh, come on. I think this has great potential. Having played this for about an hour now, I uh, really like it. I really do. And like I said, I, I see great potential in this. So hopefully it will be a, a big thing. I hope. Because the owner of this server that I talked to, he seems really chill and all that stuff. But he also owned a server that was called... What was it called? Keysta or something? Keysta? I don't know. It was something K and it ended with an A. I don't know. Much more than that. But yeah, if you guys feel like uh, checking this out, the server IP is play.zentrella.net. I'm going to put that on in the video description. I am also going to put that on the screen, I believe. And uh, yeah. Going to have... A great time here I can promise you that it from what I understand it's really easy to level not a whole lot of quests just yet but that's like Windcraft was back in the olden days they didn't have any quests and you can people still played it so I I believe I believe in this so yeah uh, I'm gonna continue playing on my own but I will stop the video now so anyway thank you guys so much for watching uh, this was Zentrella I'm a Sablonian don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Zentrella videos. If you liked it, I really want you to leave a, a like and a comment saying I like this. Peace out.